Hey what's up guys, OSG here and it's a bit of a new one today because I'm doing a little bit of a tutorial. Uh, this comes off the back of my recent video which was on the Amiga CD32. After which Lucas Rainford who's one of my good friends got in touch with us and asked what settings I was using uh, for FSUAE. I knew that he uses FSUAE because we share all of our emulators and we actually had the same settings but the problem wasn't with the emulator, the problem was with Launchbox because he launches all of his games through a front end called Launchbox and straight away I knew when he asked that it would have something to do with command line properties or the way that ROMs were being pulled out so I decided to have a look into it. So this is a tutorial for people who already know FSUAE and um, already have that set up, they have a launch box set up but they're struggling to get these games to work for the CD32. Um, if anybody wants any other tutorials doing on any emulator because I, I know them all or if you're having problems with any emulator let me know in the comments below and I'll see what I can do. I might do another video for that. So like I say this is unscripted so I will make mistakes along the way but just bear with us and we'll get to the end, we'll get everything sorted and hopefully anybody who was having this problem with CD32 games will be able to launch from Launchbox. So let's go over and do the first thing now. First things first we need to go in and we need to put our ROMs in somewhere where we can get them right so I've made a file on here CD32 and then I've copied all of the zip files into there. While I was trying this out, I realized that although Launchbox does have an option to unzip the files and then run them, that won't work with this. Well, not what I can find. So you need to unzip all of the ROMs, which I did here, I highlighted them all, and then I unzip them to their own folder. So you have like a folder and then inside there you'll have your bin files, your queue files. And um, this is the only way I can think we didn't do it. So I'll speed this bit up a bit here because it, uh, it goes quite slow as it's unzipping all of the files. Right, once the files are unzipped you can get rid of the zip files because I'm just taking space up on your drive. Now that's it, so in here if you have a look in, in a, each file you'll have a queue and you'll have some bin. Some files will have queue, bins and extra wave files as well. Um, if you can't actually see the extensions though, you will have to go to the file options at the top and then show the extensions like so. Right. So that's it for now. We've put the ROMs where we want them. We're now going to move over to Launchbox and then from there we can configure this all up. So here we are in Launchbox. First of all, we need to go and import our ROMs. So we're going to import the ROMs here. So we go to Import ROM files and then we want to navigate to where we've just put them, the CD32 files. So now we're in that file, so at the top here, because we don't want all of the files out of here, we just need to go into the search and we want to search for .cue.q and that is going to show all of the queue files. So a queue file is just a, a launch file for the rest of the game and that's what we're going to use to launch every single game here and it sees it as a bomb. So just highlight all of them and then open. So they're all shown up here now and here, so just click next. But now we have to associate the emulator with it. So we're gonna, we haven't got an emulator in here at the moment, so we're just gonna say Commodore Amiga CD32. And then we are now gonna point it towards where our emulator is. So we're using FSUAE. Um, if anybody needs FSUAE, just give us a shout and that can sort that out for you. I'm going to point to the exe of FSUE, which is the launcher. So there we are. So in here, now we have to do the command line. So in the command line, 
we're going to put in the command what's in there i will put this in the comments below so anybody can just copy it out instead of having to remember it but really all you're doing is just telling the, the launch to launch fsue in cd32 mode there is people who say that you've got to tell it which cd drive and stuff like that but i found that you don't if you've unzipped if you've unzipped them like this it's okay So this bit is because we haven't associated a platform, we're going to associate the platform of Amiga CD32 now and then just click enable there. Now I'm just going to leave every, all my files where I have them because I have them on a hard drive or wherever I have them so you can just leave them there and then go on. Um, this bit's here to get box art, stuff like that. Um, I already have this because I've just been on and deleted all these out so I'm just going to pretend I'm still having got it. Press next, go through all of this, just leave it all those, the same way as what it is. Next. So here we are, finish, and now it should start importing your games. Um, if you haven't got the box art and stuff like that, this will take a long time. There's 170 games or something in this pack here, so it'll take quite a long time because it's going to go through and get front, back, instructions, metadata, everything, right? Um, I do have it, so it won't take that long, and then they'll all show up. But I will fast forward here. So there, they've all showed up now, you can just click OK on that and then you can choose a game, choose any game, so I'm just going to choose Banshee because that's one of my favourite CD32 games. double click on that and then it should launch up into FSUE launcher in CD32 mode. See, it's launched now. With the CD32 splash screen. So that's a good sign. We know it's in the right mode. English, whatever. I'm just showing you this bit, but we'll just move on straight after we start the loading. Just, this is just to show that it can be loaded. And there we have it. Close that down and then I'll go through a few more things because I know that certain people like I know Lucas likes his in full screen I always run mine in window. So for this I read a lot on the command line properties and people are saying you can use minus minus full screen and um, that however wouldn't work for me and um, I don't know if it works for other people but there's a far easier way we'll try we'll show you it is trying to work it and um, we set it away after we've wrote that in the command line property and that adds it and um, set shadow fight away and as you can see it's still launched in window mode which is not what we want so we'll close that down so this is the way to get it into full screen First of all, we'll take that full screen back out because we're not going to be using that and leave it the way it was, where it was, where it's just seeing what version of the uh, system we're going to be using. And then we'll move over to FSUE, right? We'll launch Launcher. And then we'll go into the options, which is in there, in there, and then settings. Now we want to move down to video. In video, we can now make it always be in full screen mode. So we'll just switch that on in there because if you if you like full screen, you want it to launch from full screen, even if you're just using the launcher. Right, that's it for there. Close that down. There's an important thing which I haven't mentioned. You do actually need the CD32 ROMs, Kickstart ROMs, which you'll be here in Kickstarts in mine. You might not have them. Um, you'll have to find them yourself. But if you 
inboxes or whatever, um, I will be able to point you in the right direction when it comes to them as well. But these are the ones we need here. That is important. This won't run without them. Okay. So that's the ROMs showed here. That's us forcing it to go into full screen from the launcher. We'll move back into the launch box now. We don't have to do anything in command line properties. We'll just set Shadow Fighter away again. And now it's launched in full screen. Here we are in full screen. I've got this stretch. You can change the stretch and everything back in, in FS UAE in that uh, configuration bit. So if you didn't want to stretch, you want it just to be the right size for an Amiga, you can have it like that. So that's basically it for this tutorial. I hope that you've learned something if you didn't know how to do this. Um, if you need any hand with any of the front ends, I do Launchbox. I've been working with Hyperspin for the last 10 years. Hyperspin's far more complex than Launchbox, but I'm happy to help. And that's it. Please let us know how this tutorial went, if it's helped you in any way, if I've talked too fast, if I'm not talking in a language <laughs> that you understand, because I'm from northeast of England and I'm quite broad. Um, I tried my best to speak this is my posh voice, um, but that's it. So Lucas, please definitely you let us know how we get on, because I know that this is for you, and that's it. So, I mean, please drop this video a like on the way out if you liked it. Um, subscribe to my channel if you, if you haven't already. Hopefully everybody's subscribed. You can support us on Patreon if you want, like these people who are going up the screen right now. Um, and that's it. So, tutorial over. OSG, out.